Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com. Join me at Justin Rogers. Big news out of uh, Lions Camp today with the hiring of a new president, Justin. Uh, mm -hmm. Rod Wood is his name, and he is, surprise, surprise, uh, a close Ford confidant. Um, has spent the past decade or so, I think eight years, uh, working for the Ford family uh, with their investments and business interests. Um, no football experience, but that's not necessarily a requirement for, for his job if he's just with the business side. Um, what do you make of, of the hire? I understand why it's met with skepticism. It deserves to be met with skepticism. Uh, but as you mentioned, um, it's a position that doesn't require an intense amount of football knowledge. I think the biggest concern is he'll be having a hand in selecting a general manager. But after that, I expect... Um, and we'll get more clarity when we talk to him, but I expect him to, to step in the background and just handle business matters. Right. Uh, I, I don't think this is an incredibly important football decision. I, I still think the big decision's yet to come with, with the general manager hire. Right, and well, that was what kind of caught me too. After you know, once I thought about it some more, is that you know the, he he was he's being hired in part because it will expedite the GM search, and he's going to be part of that search. And that was what uh, Martha Firestone Ford uh, Ford had said in her release with the hiring, um, but. You know, the people doing the hiring now is, is a group basically of Ford, her four kids, and now a non-football guy. And so there's not really an outside voice in that group um, to offer a consultation. Um, they will go to the NFL and use that resource. But I think there's maybe some skepticism, and rightfully so, about how they're going, around, going about the GM search, at least in this, in this stage. And, and you know, the, the Lions have not fared that well over the past half century. Um, so I think the skepticism is, has been warranted. The, the Fords have routinely not done a good enough job when it came to hiring people to run the football team. And um, so when people see things like hiring a president who's never been a part of a football organization before right. or someone who is a part of the Ford circle, there's skepticism. And I think there's a reason for that it's because they, they've, they've screwed up decisions like this before. Yeah, I, I look at Wood and, and I see this is a guy that when you hire an external search firm, you're going to get a lot of Rod Woods there. You know, that's just the, the type of people that, that run these executive search firms. You know, most of those guys don't know about football either. Um, it's just kind of the, the natural course of action. But uh, the fact that they're going to lean on the NFL's career advancement advisory panel or whatever it's called development panel um, is a great start. You know, those, the, the top candidates that are imminently prepared to, to assume a general manager position have already been identified. They've already had mock interviews conducted with these people. Uh, that panel is made up of a, a who's who of, of great mm -hmm. coaches and general managers that are still in touch with, with what's happening in the game right now. So the list of candidates that this team should get should already be whittled down to very, very qualified individuals. End of the day, the Fords are still going to be making that decision. Right. Um, and that's the pause for that's, term because they, sure. the, the, you know, I know Martha Ford is has I'm in control for maybe two years or so. This yeah. is her first major hire, um, but her ownership group, uh, whether that was William Clay or her children, I know Bill Ford's had a big say in the organization for a number of years. That the the Ford family has not been good stewards of the program of the of the program of the, the franchise uh, for again fifty plus years. This is a, there's a long track record here, and so I think that's why there's some skepticism. Um, and I understand it, even if. You know, he's a non-football guy. I don't think that's a, a major issue. It's just it's something interesting to note because, again, it's, it's the Fords doing the hiring, and it's a little peculiar. Um, and now, again, the biggest red flag for me, or the biggest flag to come out of today was, you know, there's a, a, a group that's going to be doing this hiring, and that group is a 90-year-old woman uh, in her second year as, a, as, a, as an owner, uh, her four kids, and someone who doesn't know football. Like, you know, I, I just I don't, I don't have a lot of faith, I guess, given their track record for making decisions, that they're going to make a good decision now. Yeah, and I guess we can't say that Wood doesn't know football, but he's not a football insider. You know, that much. Maybe it's a better way to put it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he grew up in this area. He graduated from Goodrich High School. He went to U of M. You know, he's been a Ford family advisor for quite some time. I, I think he probably has a pretty good grasp on uh, this city's anguish, this the fans' um, anguish, but... I look at his track record and I see a very smart businessman who has been entrusted with massive amounts of money uh, for different corporations and he's continually moved up in the world. Uh, obviously a great businessman, um, I, I think a good decision maker, but will that decision making translate to selecting a great football mind? Uh, none of us know. None of us know. I mean, he could... 
have a stroke of genius and, and be the great voice in that room that brings the right yeah. football you know, personnel here at the, at the GM level, or it could be more of the same from the last half century. Yeah. The, I think the optics of the whole hire has been uh, an issue because you know with with fan you know fan you know, fans want change they want something new and I think when Martha Ford asked Martin Mayhew and Tom Lewan there was that feeling of hey maybe things won't be the same this time around as they have been for so long because she was so quick to pull the trigger on those firings we all knew they were coming it was, it was kind of just a matter of when and this year to do with the mid season I was like okay well maybe this is like a new era of, of ownership and then she promises a national national search again the right thing to say two weeks later she someone from down the hall essentially like that you know that, that that's going to infuriate some um, but you'll notice in the however many minutes we've been talking neither of us have vilified Rod Wood he can do the job I, I have no idea whether he can or not I assume he's a, a good candidate because they hired him um, but you know it was it's I think it's just the, the credentials maybe you know the lack of a football experience and the fact that the Fords are doing the hiring and that he's going to have this hand in hiring the GM along with just the Ford family um, is what is, is, is maybe bothersome about this chain of events. I have no problem with the resume from the business perspective. Uh, I have no problem with the guy running a salary cap from a business perspective. I, I think when you get down to crunching numbers, I, it seems like he is more than qualified. Picking a GM? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll find out. That ball has already started rolling. He was um, apparently powwowing already with Martha, with Martha Ford today um, about the GM search and getting that ball rolling. No meaningful, no hires can be made until January. Right. Um, but that ball is rolling. We'll keep tabs on it here at M Live uh, for Dustin Rogers. I'm Kyle Mikey.